some breakdowns where they got open looks that good shooters will make you pay for, and then some other ones where I thought we were we were close to them. Um, but I think their size too is deceiving when you're close to them, so they can shoot over you. You know, and obviously for us to go long stretches, you know, and, and miss open looks, you know, can, can wears you down. But truthfully, in spite of that, I thought that we continue to compete. And to me, that that's the measure um, that I want to hold us to, and I want our guys to hold themselves to, because there's going to be nights. You know, when shots aren't going to fall. And if they're good shots and they're open, you know, AJ got some and he made them. DJ scored early um, and really carried us in the first quarter. And then we didn't see the ball go in the basket. But I, you know, I thought when we finally got in half court situations, um, it's hard to defend against a lot of misses. And it's hard to score when you're taking the ball out of the net. So, like I said, I just, the overall feeling for me is you're, you're disappointed. You know, you know it's a big game. Um, but I thought we, we competed throughout the game. Even the guys that came in at the end did the same thing. So I'm, I'm proud of us for that because a lot of teams, you know, you, you can cave when a team's playing that well against you. Is that what, what the biggest difference was in that third quarter specifically? Where they scored 42? Yeah, the, the third quarter, I thought we got stagnant. Um, and we did a couple things to try to um, change that. But again, when you're you kind of when they're making they're making shots and you're taking the ball out of the net, um, you know you can't get anything uh, in the open court and it just puts more pressure on your offense. I, I, I did think we even had we had some good looks in the third quarter that just didn't go to. So you, you coach against Bridges a lot in the West. Yeah. Is it, are we didn't prepare for this that the guy he would become now. Yeah, I, you know, obviously the, the, the usage is so much higher um, because of the makeup of their team and his role on their team. Um, he's always, there's things that he's doing that he's done before. He just hasn't had, you know, he's playing with, you know, an all-NBA player, a Hall of Fame player, you know, and he was more of a complimentary player. He, he wasn't in the first or second option on that team. And um, you know, clearly... And that's he's been he's been working and he's been efficient forever. He's made he's made those threes. He's just taken. It's more aggressive right now because he has to be, and it's credit to him. I know that you guys still out rebounded them, forty six to uh, forty one. But I'm curious what they were doing for guys like Onyeka and Clint to kind of limit them because we've seen them do so well in the glass. Yeah, I mean they had bodies on them. And that's when other guys got to go to the boards and come up with those long rebounds. But it's a little bit deceiving too when you're you're missing, you get more opportunities to rebound. Um, so it's, um, but it's the same thing. I, I thought you know we battled in those situations. We played small for a portion of the game too. Thanks, okay. What did you see is you know the biggest difference in that third quarter specifically where you guys were down four? I think you picked up like 42 points. What was the biggest difference there for, for you guys? I mean, they they made shots. Uh, you know, obviously they helped them. You know, another end with us not making shots, uh, not getting on the fall, and them able to get in transition or you know do what they do, whatever they do best, uh, and they was able to do that and they made shots. Obviously, and that's just how it went. The one thing that Quinn said is he said that he still liked that you guys were competing even though you were down 20. Like, did you see that from your team, especially the third unit that came in the last five minutes of the game? I mean, yeah. Uh, you know, obviously you want to compete the whole game. You know, that's 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 when you could be happy. Uh, obviously, there's guys who just hate losing. I'm one of the guys that just hate losing, so you could preach all the good things you want. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, I just don't like losing, mm -hmm. you know, so... You know, at the end of the day, though, when you compete, you know, you go look at the film and you just see what you can do better and you just look. You know, they were making contested shots as well. It wasn't like they were just getting a ton of open shots. So, you know, as long as we competed, you know, they shot at a high clip and they won a basketball game. Onyeka and Clint have been really crashing the glass lately. Um, what do you think about that? Well, all seasons, but what, what specifically were the Nets doing to kind of keep them off of it and, and take the opportunity to, to get 
Uh, I mean, you know, as far as, you know, them being big men, doing what they do, uh, can't relate too much. But, you know, it was one of them nights, you know, uh, like I said, uh, the Nets was hitting contested shots. They was getting stops on us. Uh, and, you know, they was able to run and, you know, do what they do. And, like I said, they made tough shots and they got a great win. Uh, at the end of the day, we're with each other, you know, right or wrong, win or lose, you know, we just got to stick together. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.